If you're a heavy smoker, there's a one in three chance that you'll develop lung cancer in your lifetime. Hello, I'm Dr. Bhuvan Chog, consultant in medical oncology, Max Healthcare. The important thing about lung cancer is that it's a deadly disease. Most of the lung cancer patients are detected in an advanced stage. It's the second most common cancer in Indian men. Almost 2,50,000 new lung cancer patients are detected each year, and most of the time in the advanced stage. And most of these patients, they end up dying because of lung cancer. The cancer, lung cancer in by itself has a high mortality rate. And most of it is because of the smoking. Almost two thirds to 90% of the lung cancer patients are smokers. And it's very rare. There's a one in 100 chance that you develop lung cancer if you're a never smoker. And as I told you, there's a one in three chance that you develop lung cancer if you're a smoker. It's not only the numbers that are different between the smokers and non-smokers. It's the deadliness of the disease. It's the biology of the disease which is also different between the smoker and a non-smoker. The never smokers, which by definition are people who, are sm who have smoked less than 100 cigarettes in their lifetime, tend to have a biology which is more favorable. They tend to respond better to the treatment. They have a tumor or they have a cancer which is being driven by a driver mutation which, by the way, can be treated by a single tablet or a pill each day. However, if you talk about lung cancer in smokers, it's more deadly. There is less chance that you'll respond favorably to the treatment. You know, you have a, you have a disease which is fairly aggressive. The biology of the disease is fairly aggressive. The chance that you'll have a squamous cell cancer or a small cell lung cancer is higher if you are a smoker. However, the most common histology in a never smoker is adenocarcinomas, which also is possibly being driven by a particular mutation. So there are multiple other differences also in between smokers and never smokers, and the outcome is definitely better if you have a never if you are a never smoker and have developed a lung cancer. Most of the lung cancer patients they tend to present an advanced stage. However, there are few early signs also. If you have a cough which has been persisting for almost three four weeks. If there is a blood streaking in your sputum, if you've been losing weight, there's a fever, there is, you know, there's a fatigueness in the body, it can suggest that you have an underlying cancer process. Do get yourself checked. You know, the short, short way of picking up a lung cancer early, especially in smokers, is CT screening. If you're more than 55 years of age, if you've been smoking for more than past 30 years, almost one pack a day, which in my language is 30 pack years, you should get yourself screened by a CT scan, which is a low-dose CT scan. What I'm essentially doing is, I'm doing a CT scan to pick up your lung cancer early, where it can still be cured. It can be cured by a lesser number of treatments, be it be surgery or surgery followed by chemotherapy. You know, if you have a, if you have a cancer which is fairly advanced, you'll possibly require all the three modalities, that is surgery followed by chemotherapy which may be followed by chemo radiation. Or if you have become a little more advanced than that, you may possibly not be eligible for surgery and you can only be treated by the chemotherapy and radiotherapy. If you have further advanced, if you reach a stage four level, the only treatment available to us is systemic therapies, which can be chemotherapy, be it be immunotherapy or be it be targeted therapies. The most important risk factor and cause for lung cancer is smoking. Almost two third to 90% of the patients who develop lung cancer are smokers. The minority of the, you know, it's one third of those patients who possibly have never been smokers, there are multiple causes to it. It can be exposure to various environmental carcinogens, you know, the, you know, the cancer causing agents in your environment. These can be viruses, or it can be that you have a long standing disease in your lungs, such as interstitial lung disease, which has caused you cancer. But primarily it's the smoking, and that's one short, short way of preventing lung cancer. The treatment of lung cancer will primarily be dependent upon the stage in which you present in. As I told you, most of the lung cancer patients, they tend to present in an advanced stage. However, if you present in an early stage, the treatment there is surgery, which can be, you know, that means taking out a part of your lung which has cancer, which is usually followed by chemotherapy. If you have a slightly more advanced disease in that, where it has spread to the nodes in your chest or in your neck, the treatment there is mostly chemotherapy plus radiotherapy, which in turn will be followed by immunotherapy. However, if you have a disease which is fairly bit advanced, it has gone into multiple other parts of your body, the treatment will primarily be systemic therapy. The systemic therapy can be either a chemotherapy, which can have an addition of immunotherapy, 
or it can be a targeted therapy depending if you have a disease which is being driven by mutations. So essentially the treatment of lung cancer will depend upon the stage which you present in and to understand the treatment further we need to understand what is driving the treat what is driving the disease forward. The treatment, prognosis and survival in a lung cancer patient has undergone a paradigm shift in the last decade. You know, 10 years before we used to treat lung cancer as one disease. Now we have divided lung cancer into minute subsets. We need to know whether you have a lung cancer which is being driven by the mutations or it's not being driven by the mutations. And then what type of mutation is driving the lung cancer forward. Each particular type of lung cancer has a, or you know, each particular type of a driver mutation has a different tablet for itself. And each particular tablet gives you a different lifespan or a different survival advantage. That's how minutely the lung cancer is being treated. The survival in lung cancer patient is broadly around, you know, if you have a, it obviously depends upon the stage which you present in. So if you tend to present in an early stage, you may have a, you know, five year survival somewhere in the range of 60 to 70 percent. However, if you have a lung cancer which is presented in a later stage, somewhere say stage 3 or stage 4, the survival is poorer. If you have a lung cancer which is stage 4, there is almost 1 in 5 chance that you'll survive for the 5 years. As an oncologist, the one advice which I would like to share with you all is that stop smoking. It's one short short way of preventing lung cancer. As I've told you before, most of the lung cancer patients, they tend to be smokers. They tend to have a lung cancer which is more aggressive than never smokers. You know, this cancer, lung cancer in smokers tend to be more in male as compared to the never smokers which have a slight predominance toward a female. If you are a smoker, my sincere advice to you would be that get a CT screening done. If you've been smoking for more than 30 years, almost a pack a day, and if you're more than 55 years of age, do get CT screening done as it helps you prevent or you know it helps to detect lung cancer at an early stage. However, my still one go advice is do not smoke. That is one short short way of preventing lung cancer.